I'm here at Lister Lane Cemetery in Halifax. We're in front of the grave of Benjamin Rushton. I'm also with David Glover, who is the chair of the Lister Lane Cemetery Committee and has been one of the people who has made sure that this cemetery can now be visited and people can get an understanding of the social, economic and political history of Halifax. I wondered, David, if you could tell me just a little bit about Benjamin Rushton, please. Well, Ben Rushton was really one of the poorer men buried in this cemetery. He wouldn't even have a tombstone today had it not been for a group of his friends who clubbed together after his death to provide one. So what did Ben Rushton achieve? He was born at Dewsbury in the 1780s, moved to Halifax in his youth, and his family was comparatively poor. He worked as a relatively poor weaver, he became interested in the Methodist connection, and he became a Methodist lay preacher. But his interests really developed towards the rights of the ordinary man. Most people at that time, of course, had no vote, they had very few rights in work and employment, and what the Chartists were fighting for was, of course, many more rights for the ordinary man. But Ben Rushton was notable as one of the chief orators. He would speak out and he would rally people together at great big meetings. Some of them were held at places right up on Blackstone Edge, some were held more locally in the Halifax area. When Ben Rushton eventually died in 1853, there was a massive outpouring in his favour. People gathered from miles around, great distances in fact, to and come to Halifax for his funeral. One record suggests that there were as many as 10,000 people in Halifax to honour the dead Ben Rushton. At his grave, and I quote here from a little booklet that I have, which was written at the time of a small Chartist festival which was held around this cemetery in 2006 and I'm quoting from a speech made by Ernest Jones who gave the oration over the grave here when Ben Rushton was buried in 1853. Jones said, men die but history lasts and you make history. If we turn to have a look at this tombstone here, we have words written by Robbie Burns to commemorate a minister in whom he was interested when this minister friend of Burns died. And the words are as follows. An honest man here lies at rest, as e'er God with his image blessed, the friend of man, the friend of truth, the friend of age, and the guide of youth. Few hearts like his with virtue warmed, few heads with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. Mm -hmm. So he's getting the best of belief or unbelief. Benjamin is one of four Chartists buried in this cemetery, but there are also a significant number of important people buried here, aren't they? And you and others have done a great deal to make it possible for people to visit the cemetery and to get a greater understanding of the social, economic and political history of Halifax. The cemetery here really has a cross-section of 19th century Halifax citizens buried within its walls. And they range from wealthy mill owners down to ordinary people who were, of course, the salt of the earth. Some of those ordinary people had very interesting lives. We know far more, of course, about the well-to-do. The mill owners, the newspaper editors, the people who were involved in politics. We have one or two MPs and one or two mayors of Halifax buried here. A number of old soldiers. And what we've tried to do over the past few years has been to involve ourselves in a programme of, as well as keeping the cemetery as tidy as possible, because it was a jungle basically <laughs> before 2000, um, some of us have been involved in doing research, 
to try and bring the stories of those buried here back to life and back into the knowledge of the local and wider community. Thank you, David. And for those who are interested in listening before August the 16th this year, there is at the cemetery at 1.30 till 4 o'clock a gathering to recall the fateful events 175 years ago, exactly to the date, August the 16th, 1842, when large numbers of industrial workers mobilised in Halifax for better pay and for the Charter, basic civil rights, and found themselves, uh, in some cases, moored, moored down and unfortunately killed by the military as part of what was a struggle for the fort and for better working conditions. All welcome, and all welcome also to affiliate and to become members of the Lister Lane Cemetery at a cost of £3 a year. I'd like to thank you, David, for your time. Thank you very much. It's good to be with you, Mark. Cheers.